the reality application. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because nobody come to this in United States yet. That's, it's, that's a very really interesting thing. Yeah, I'm uh, so my background from way back when is actually a little bit in software engineering. I have moved away from that. So I back then, you know. Can I just smash it like, to show? Testing was all the rage, mm. but then of course it was for batch application, not for anything else really oh, interactive. Nah. You know, it's my friends uh, asking me, it's like, why you still some, you know, the, like official, I have two jobs. So I'm teaching mobile technology in a school. Uh -huh. So, and at uh, the same time, I'm working just uh, so, so as a black box tester. Yeah. It's like, yeah. why you don't move? You have enough knowledge to go to like gray box or whatever. Uh -huh. So do white box, just money wise. Yeah. It's like, guys, then all this fun will be go. <laughs> this will be gone for me because it's so interesting with the, yeah. all this. Uh, simple stuff like UI or you, yeah. so user interface. Yeah. I, I mean, so usability testing or functionality yeah. testing to touch all these buttons. Exactly. It's what is so cool. I'm just filling up this little reservoir here, and now we're going to do a little dam here, yeah. And then the water is going to rush out madly go inside. Oh my gosh! And he will knock it off. And then let's see. Maybe I can even go over to this side. Ah, there we go. Uh oh. Yep. There it goes. Let me, draw, let me dig a ditch here to get rid of it. So change the world with your hands. And now it will change your color. My goodness, you just built Panama Canal. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun once you start building real stuff and then you, once you start building real terrain, you can build the Grand Canyon. So does it rain under your hand? That's exactly right. Yep. Uh, if you hold your hand into the rain layer, uh, the software thinks you're a rain cloud and just makes it rain down. I'm a big shadow around the earth. Water. Wow, it's a floating. Soon, right? That's it's right. what happened right now, it's floating by and again, and yeah. We can drain this here a little bit, to make it a little ditch. And there goes the water, yes, wonderful. And he just told us, so the concept then it could be also created the same things with fire. So how's the fire going? Where? Is it cool? So you have a uh, you have a fire app built into your demo. Well, no, we don't have that yet. Uh, I mentioned that because uh, it came up when we showed this to a couple of people from the forestry service. They were very excited about using it for firefighting. Well, they wanted to simulate. Right? So they yep. wanted to simulate fire. Yeah. And we, we are, I think the last time I heard, they were going to scrounge up the funding uh, to to get uh, some money to develop that uh, that fire simulation module. Try to dig hole. It's very interesting when you dig a hole. What happened? Look at that. Ooh. And it's quite a lot of rain. No, don't create the rain. Let's Man, you a, feel like a god. Let's make a tsunami. <laughs> oh no no no! Wait, all right. Tsunami's I'm done. ready for tsunami. Come on. I'm just gonna dump some sand into this lake here, and then there it goes. Wow. Man, can rain. you do this again, please, please, please? Uh, well, I have to make a hole first. Okay, Let's yeah. See. And then we have to fill in some more water. Let me uh, let me make it rain a little bit here. And man, nice use the god, use the god, man. Then the, uh, we went a little bit overboard with the water simulation. Uh, it's actually physically precise, meaning that the water flows uphill just like real water would, at one to one hundred scale. So the sandbox is actually conceptually a hundred times bigger than this. Yeah. And here she goes. Wow. Which is why at this scale the water looks kind of syrupy, but this is actual water. I mean, it doesn't look like water because of the color, but it behaves like water. There we go. I was having a bit of a problem making it rain in that <laughs> particular lake there. Yeah, the, the rain detection currently is not very good. I have a better software module for that, but I didn't get it done in time and integrated. Uh, right now, it's sort of ad hoc. So how does the water manage to leave the arena? Ah, flow uh, the when edge? the water flows to the red, to the blue line here, which is sort of the boundary, then it just keeps flowing out of the sandbox. I see. And the other way is you have these buttons on the side. And if you push and hold the red button, it's going to drain water globally. It's essentially evaporating, uh, evaporating the water. I will be evil source of it. I will push a red button. And there goes the water. Draining out the hole. Yeah. Okay, now we're Mars. No, it's a cat. <laughs> that's, that's right. One other application that we didn't go for, one of my colleagues uh, is the, the, the science head for the Mars rover mission. Ah. And so she is currently touring around the country talking about the Mars mission. She's in Houston right now. Uh, but I wanted to get from her colleagues at JPL a little 3D model of the rover and then be able to drive the rover over the terrain just with a little joystick. 
because it turns out um, the rover is very finicky. It can only drive very shallow inclines and so forth. So by they're, building they're a terrain, then, with it, yeah. it, you can really give people the appreciation for how difficult it is to run that thing. And we can also put an arbitrary delays between you giving a command and reacting. That's not wow. the real thing. And that would be really cool. But I, I didn't have the chance, unfortunately. I really wanted to do it. <laughs> hey, you already were supposed to feel like creator. Look at that. This, this, this uh, sandbox. <laughs> the thing is that uh, the sandbox, while a very obvious component of that science education project I mentioned, is for us something that we don't normally do. Uh, we do virtual reality, not augmented reality. Um, so normally we try to get away from the physical as much as possible. Right. But this was just too good to pass up. So well, we this is yep. actually mixed reality. You, are, you know, the nomenclature is still evolving very much. And I uh, have gotten yelled at for calling it the augmented reality sandbox, but I, I stand by it. It's more than a real sandbox, it's augmented. It's real sand, exactly.